everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share a fun little DIY with you. I recently had a baby girl and she uses pacifiers. So when we go out and about, I like to use these things called pacifier clips to attach the pacifier to her, like to her outfit, because she has this tendency to spit the pacifier out and then we lose it. I even use them around the house because we have dogs and dogs have been known to be interested in the pacifiers or maybe try and steal them. So it really helps if they are attached to her and then we don't lose them or have to clean them repeatedly. So these pacifier clips can set you back around $20 each. So I decided that they would be pretty easy to make and I think I figured out a pretty great way to make them. It's very easy and much more cost effective. These have cost around $5 each, so definitely better than $20. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Kirsty, and welcome to my little community here on YouTube. If you haven't already, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button down below. That way my weekly videos should pop up in your YouTube subscription feed. Okay, now let me show you how to make these super easy baby pacifier clips. So here's what you need to make these pacifier clips. First off, some suspender clips. I've got two different kinds here. One is white and one is silver. Both are made from wood. You'll also need some cord. This is two millimeter satin finish nylon cord and I have a white option and a gray option. You'll also need a variety of different beads to decorate your clip with. I have some wooden beads here as well as some food grade silicon ones. It's very important that they are food grade uh, because your baby will likely chew on these. You want it to be safe. I selected all of these materials from Amazon and I will leave links to everything that I purchased down below in the description box. The only other supplies you'll need to make these clips are a tape measure, a lighter, We'll use this to singe the ends of the cord so that it does not fray. And finally, a pair of scissors. The first thing you need to do to create these pacifier clips is to measure out a length of your cord. I'm using 16 inches of cord here. However, you should tailor how long the cord is based off the height of your child. If you're gonna be clipping this onto their pants, for example, you want to make sure that the cord is long enough to reach from their pants up to their mouth. Next, I'm going to very carefully and lightly singe the ends of the nylon cord. It just melts it over and provides a nice finish so that it does not fray. And this makes it much easier to thread the beads on as well. Next, I'm securing the cord onto the pacifier clip. This knot that I'm creating here is not my own. I actually learned to do this from another YouTube video. So I will link that down below and she explains it really well on how to create this knot, but it's very secure and I found it works great. Next, I'm going to decide on a pattern for the beads. I'm using white beads and these neutral colored beads. They kind of look like wood, but they are made from silicon. So once I'm happy with the design and I think it's long enough to work for the pacifier clip length that I want to make, I'm just going to start threading them on. So once I have a couple of beads on, I'm going to push the remaining little bit of cord that's left from the knot I tied also through the hole so that it's nice and hidden and it can't be pulled on and unraveled by a baby. So you can see here how I'm doing that. It does take a little bit of work to get the two pieces of cord through the size of hole that my beads had, but I just worked on pushing it through before finishing off putting the rest of the beads onto my pacifier clip. And then I'm just working on the loop that I will use to attach this to my pacifiers. So I'm just making a loop and then tying a large knot through the whole thing, just like this, and then pushing it down as close as I can to my beads. 
And then just like I did at the start of the clip, I'm threading the leftover piece of cord from the knot back through the beads so that it's nice and hidden. And then all that's left to do is attach your new pacifier clip to a pacifier or even a teether for older children. And then you can attach it to your baby and you're ready to go. No more losing pacifiers when you're out and about. So I hope you enjoyed that little DIY. You could also use these for teething rings and things like that. If your baby is a little older, you might just want to make the clip a bit longer. Um, it's definitely easy to adjust the length of them to match the height of your child. If you decide to give them a go, let me know how they turn out in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.